Your Royal Highness, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. The picture behind me is a beautiful image, a half image of our planet taken from the space. This magnificent creation that had never ceased and ceased to inspire philosophers, thinkers, poets, and scientists, and many more. What is more amazing is the life forms that this beautiful planet supports. The majestic uh, mountains, beautiful rivers, iconic creatures like snow leopards, the water buffaloes, the great blue whales. All living in tandem with the rhythm of planet, what we call home. When everything seems to be very perfect and beautiful, about 200,000 years ago, we, the Homo sapiens, enter the scene and join the rhythm of this planet. For thousands of years, the rhythm of planet continue, and we humans live as part of it. About 100 years ago, the things started to change. We humans have discovered something called oil or the fossil fuel. Since then, everything seems to change. The way we manage our forest, the way we grow our crops, the way we raise our livestock, everything has changed. More than 7 million hectares of forest are lost annually. That is almost twice the size of Bhutan, as per the FAO report in 2018. What we have done more is that we have poached many beautiful species for wildlife teed and trafficking. We have polluted most of our rivers and streams. And we humans continue to change the face of this planet. <coughs> this must be stopped. We do not have a second planet. We human needs to reconnect to the magical rhythm of our planet. And an animal like tiger has the power to help us to reconnect and save this planet. About 100 years ago, the tigers roam almost all of Asia, from the Caspian Sea in the west to the Russian Far East, from the Siberian forest in the north to the tropical forest of Java Islands. More than now, today, they have lost more than 93% of their historical range. Today, they are only found in this landscape in the 7% of what their historical, historical range used to be, and less than 4,000 tigers live in the wild today. What is little unfortunate about the tigers is that the tigers also share a landscape where 
lot of human beings live. This year, a landscape where the highest density of humans occur on this planet. <coughs> well, as of now, the India is the stronghold for tigers in, in, in our region, but the growing population and the other developmental activities threatens the long-term survival and viability of tigers in our regions. Similarly, other tiger range countries, the threats for tiger survival is looming. But there is one landscape in our neighborhood. <clears throat> this landscape that what we refer as a tiger escape is a landscape where not many people are there. This is the largest intact forest that can offer us a hope for tigers. <coughs> if, if Bhutan is any indication of what it would be like in the other uh, landscape in this region, then there is a hope and we must cherish that, this because tigers thrives and are doing well in Bhutan. Bhutan has almost 3% of the global tiger populations in. They thrives. Tiger as a species are a top predator and the success of the reproductive success of the tiger by the end of first year, like 50% of their litter is killed or, or they, they do die. But in Bhutan, we have an opportunity that where in the four, if they have a litter size of four, almost four, all four of them reach to the, to the maturity and they uh, disperse to other landscapes. So these are some of the images that we got from our camera taps on tigers. So tigers in Bhutan live all the way from 100 meters to 4,500 meters across this altitudinal gradient. And from our uh, latest work, we now, through our camera, uh, through our uh, uh, coloring work, we are now furthering the understanding of how tigers are using the landscape and navigating it. Uh, this will help us to further enhance our uh, uh, conservation strategies in the near future. Not only tigers, tigers allow other species to thrive. Like from this particular one camera trap locations, we can clearly see that other species thrive if tigers are thriving on the landscape. In spring from Bhutan and understanding that things are possible, what we are proposing is a tiger escape for the 21st century and beyond. This landscape, starting from the, the Bhutan Himalayas, skirting to the southern boundaries of Nepal, the southern boundaries of China, southward to the basins of Irrawaddy is the largest forest intact landscape available as of now to the tigers. What we are talking here is not only about tigers. What we are talking here is the huge potential that this landscape offer. It will help to protect the two major iconic river basins of the world, the, the mighty Brahmaputra and the Irrawaddy River.
This will help to support more than half a billion people living in this basin. This landscape will also act as the huge carbon sink, almost storing more than 9 billion metric ton of carbon dioxide. This is equivalent to the United States and India combined annual emission carbon that can be stored in this landscape. United States is in second, uh, India is on third in the global uh, carbon emissions. Whatever they emit annually, that can be stored in this forest landscape. And with this, I would like to play this small clip. And this is what is happening to Bhutan, and we want it to repopulate the other tiger ranch uh, countries or in this tiger scape and easily we can support 1,000 to 2,000 tigers with that. With that, thank you.